Hello and welcome, I'm Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's talk about technology for EU4. Technology is quite simple in EU4. You've got three different sides to it. You've got administrative technology, diplomatic technology, military technology. Administrative technology, quite logically, is used by spending administrative points. Diplomatic is based on your diplomatic power. And military technology is going to be based on your military power. The base cost is 500 per level. As you increase it, a couple things can happen. If you get ahead of time, there's a 10% penalty per year ahead that you are. So it can become very expensive to try to race or rush technology. On the other hand, if you fall behind, you end up getting a neighbor's bonus. So every one of your neighbors that has the technology will lower your cost by 5%. So sometimes it can make sense to spend your administrative or diplomatic or military powers on ideas allowing your neighbors to get ahead slightly in technology and then you end up coming in behind and picking up the technology at reduced cost. However, other times it might make sense to rush straight to a specific technology level if you need a certain thing. Like for instance, if we rushed Noble Republic to level 7, or excuse me, Administrative Technology to level 7, which is called Noble Republic, that is where we unlock a number of idea groups. So we might want to get Noble Republic 7 that will allow us to pick up another idea group and maybe we can pick up some military ideas. Maybe there's some strategy that we want to use that rushes these traits or these, these ideas. Now there are different types of people who have different technology costs. If you're playing as a Western technology group, it'll tell you right here, you are Western technology, they cost 100% of normal. If you play as, say, Muslims, they end up having increased technology cost. It's difficult, you can't actually see um, the, the costs listed here. But Muslims have increased technology. Sub-Saharans have increased, dr dramatically increased technology costs. The Eastern countries have increased slightly, Byzantines, etc. And the further you go away from the Western technology group, the higher the cost is. This kind of forces the game to play historically. The western side of Europe is always going to be ahead technologically. Even if an expert player is playing as the Sub-Saharans, if you decide you're going to play as Congo, there's just nothing you can do to catch up in technology. Right now, they're at level 1 of everything, whereas the very beginning of the game, the western Europeans end up having more than that. You know, Castile is at level 6 of everything, etc. So that's how technology works. It's very advisable um, to, to try to keep, keep pace with technology. This screen can be a little bit confusing at first, but what it's telling you is that these highlighted things will happen the next time you upgrade it. So for instance, if I get level 7 military tech, I'm going to pick up artillery. You can also hover right here to see these are the bonuses you get by purchasing it. One increased artillery fire, and we also get the limber, which unlocks the... Uh, Right there, the large cast bronze mortar and the hoofnis. You can see the overall multipliers you're getting on your troops by having the current level of technology. And then the overall modifiers that you're getting plus what levels they will be increased at. So for instance, right now we have 20% increased production efficiency. We need to get to level 9 before we get another 10% increased additive on top of all of the current benefits. You can also see which buildings get unlocked by using administrative technology our trade range, colonial range, which buildings this unlocks, which buildings this unlocks, etc. So that is how technology works. Thanks for watching. See you again in the next video.